it's been a hot minute since I got a basket full of new products that I've never tried before and put them on my face because if I'm being honest, the makeup launches have been a huge yawn to me lately and I know a lot of you feel the same. I know a lot of you have not been buying because the launches have sucked. <laughs> I've honestly been feeling a little uninspired with my content lately because I've been so uninspired by the launches, but I did just get the REM Beauty Chapter 2 collection in the mail. Parts of it, not the whole collection. I have some things sitting around here and there that I haven't gotten to play with. I've been retesting a lot of newer products and really getting a thorough feel for them. But I'm excited to just play with a bunch of new makeup. So if you wanna sit here through that, then just keep watching. Little good old makeup play sesh. This is not new, but I need to put on my sunscreen. I did put on sunscreen a few hours ago this morning, and then I just sat out on our patio a little bit with Jose, and I look, came in and looked at the mirror and I realized how many freckles I had. It just made me feel like I needed to put on more sunscreen. Which, side note, unrelated to this video, this Tula Skincare Mineral Magic Sunscreen, fire. I have been loving it. Lately, I've been using a Kate Somerville one that has been really awesome, but I think this feels a little bit more skincare-y. It leaves, like, no casts at all, so I love this. The Kate Somerville that I've been using does leave a white cast. Foundation, this I've tried once but I want to use it again. One size sent this to me in the mail before I moved, so I never got the chance to play with it. This is the one size turn up the base Beauty Blur Balm Cream. My shade is light too. This I think of the two that they sent me works the best. Uh, I used it like two days ago and I have mixed feelings about it. So I'm just gonna put a little bit right here. It's very interesting how this works. It kind of, you can see how like matte it looks. It kind of, feels like a mattifying primer if I'm being honest and I like the way that it blends in with my finger. I do feel as though it does blur but I also feel like it can kind of separate and look a little dry and emphasize some dry areas on the face that I didn't know that I had. So that's at least my first impressions of it when I wore it for the first time. So I'm wearing it again <laughs> to decide. Ideally, I would have put a glowy base underneath, but I want another day to kind of test the wear time before I play with anything too glowy. I've been enjoying this Rare Beauty foundation brush. I think it blends products like this really nice. I also used it recently recently for the Shantikai gel foundation. It was beautiful for blending that out because the brushes are so <laughs> kind of stiff that no product is being sucked up into the bristles. Am I close enough? Do you want to be closer? Hello. Maybe you didn't, but it's fine. <laughs> So the way that I felt about this the first time that I wore it is up close. It looked kind of separated and dry, but from not even like a far distance, but when I wasn't looking extremely close in the mirror from a normal distance that you would say be like talking to a person, I thought my skin looked really, really good. So that's why I have very mixed opinions on this so far. Up close, it was just not really good at all. And then from a not far distance, I think my skin looked super blurred and even and still super natural. <laughs> so that's what I'm trying to figure out. So it might depend on what setting you're going to be in. If you're going to be somewhere where someone is really up close and personal to your face, then maybe don't get this. I don't know. It just, it's weird because even though it didn't look that great from a close distance, it looked like really, really good from a medium distance. So that's why I couldn't decide. But I want you to see how it's kind of, I don't know if separating is the right word, but it's like seeping into my pores and you can literally see it. So I don't know, but as you can see when I step out, it doesn't look great now. I think my oils need to come through first before I can say that. It looked better with wear when I first used it, but still it like evened everything out and smoothed things, but then up close it didn't so I don't know I'm, I'm gonna pop up my eyebrows really quickly because I have zero new eyebrow products and I will be right back okay eyebrows are done I also put on a little bit of the Westman Atelier face trace contour stick and biscuit because I have a cream blush so I wanted a cream bronzer to really play with that formula but let's go to the under eyes and that brings us to the first product from the Rem Beauty collection they said this is like chapter two I don't have everything from the collection I I'm on their tier two PR list. It literally said that on the box, tier two. So I didn't get the fancy, I don't know, thing that tier one got. 
<laughs> and then I'm missing like an eyeshadow palette or something. No, <laughs> it's fine. I just thought that was funny. So this is the cooling blurring under eye balm. It's supposed to energize the eye area and it's supposed to melt away the look of puffiness and reduce the appearance of dark circles for a bright eyed look. Well, let's see. I enjoyed the packaging of this. Very interesting that they even wanted to send me stuff because I was not super nice about the first launch. Like I wasn't mean. They had some good stuff, but for the most part, I was like, eh. uh, this is what it looks like. Super duper interesting, right? I'm happy that they sent me this because this is intriguing. Hmm, it does kind of feel awakening. Like it feels quite cooling, but I feel like now I put nothing on underneath. It feels almost like a silicone-y face primer. So I don't feel any hydration going on and I wish I did. It also did not agree with the Patrick Star blurring balm at all. I don't know if you can see, but um, completely broke up that right there. But I'm not surprised. That kind of had the texture as though it would break up a foundation. So I don't know about putting that underneath makeup. It feels good. It feels awakening. Like I would put that on my eyes in the morning, but maybe not before makeup. And it doesn't necessarily feel hydrating. So I put on a little bit of concealer. I'm going to bring it lower so I can cover this part that got messed up. This is the LYS Triple Fix Serum Full Coverage Brightening Concealer. Not new to me, but new to the market. I've been using this one for some time, but I don't have a brand brand new concealer. This is the best that we're gonna get. And I've been thoroughly enjoying this. I would like to update you all. It's been really nice and hydrating. I got a shade that you can see is a little bit deep, kind of peachy, but for every day, I don't mind it. And if it's looking a little dark, like I think it is today, so I'm gonna go in and correct that. I'm just gonna put something a little bit lighter on top, but I've been loving the correcting that this has done, but it does look super duper natural if you're not wearing any makeup, as you can see. It's not too, too dark, but if I do notice that it is, I'll just like pop a little bit of a lighter concealer on top and then that will kind of even everything out. This is a KVD concealer that I just used that I do not recommend at all, but it doesn't do much harm when I just use a dot of it like right in the areas to brighten up my face. I'm gonna very lightly set my under eyes for the eyeshadow. I don't want the eyeshadow stick to stick on it. So the newest powder that I have is the Rare Beauty Setting Powder in Light. Uh, you did see this in a haul, so I've used it a few times since I do like this powder the light medium that I got was way too dark on me so I did repurchase the powder in a lighter shade and I do like it a lot more now that it's in a more reasonable shade I'm just gonna use that right here I don't, I don't want too much powder on my face because the one size beauty balm it's like matte so just on the under eyes right there. Okay, let's get to the new new though. So I do have two of the new eyeshadow palettes from Rem Beauty. I liked the first one that I tried. They're good, I don't have anything bad to say about them, but I don't have anything like amazing to say about them either. It's just one of those things where it's a solid formula, but nothing to write home about. So this is Go Go Boost. This, I think it's gonna be a really fabulous spring palette. And then the other one that we have here is Groovy Baby, which is a little bit more cool, but again, Again, both of these are a great spring launch. I think they have some really, really nice colors here. I think I'm gonna go into Go Go Boots because it has that baby blue that I think will go with my dress and it looks more like cotton candy. So let's see what I think of that. I'm gonna do one eye to collect my thoughts and then I'll do the other eye with you guys. So this is the look that I came up with, really springy. I really like it, honestly, and it was pretty easy to create. I mean, I'm telling you before I get into it, I like this palette, but again, it's the same feelings where it's a really good palette, but it's not a really great palette. <laughs> There's nothing super special about it, but I do like it. So I'm gonna start off with the blue shade, which I am actually very impressed with this shade. It held its own, and it actually can be built up to be quite pigmented. And I ruined my other eye. I added a shade for depth and I'm mad that I did that. I wish I would have just left this shade really bright. But look at this. You see how it's building up and it's not too powdery and it doesn't blend away. It's not chalky or anything. So this is actually a very solid formula. I definitely like this palette. No issues with it whatsoever. So this is just going in the outer corner, outer half of my eye, as you can see. It's not pretty. Okay, we're gonna build. So the next shade that I'm going to go into is the purple shade right here. This one is a little dusty in my opinion. It doesn't quite adhere 
to the eyelid as easy as I would like and you really need to like pat and press it in otherwise it doesn't look quite so smooth on the eyelid you know it looks like a powder on the eyelid it doesn't look creamy or one with the eyelid at all so honestly I'm just gonna take my finger and press it to the center of my eye so this is not my favorite shade in the palette the matte aqua shade is definitely a lot better and we are gonna have to go back in and reapply it as well because it's gonna dust away. And then I'm gonna go into the pink shade. I have similar feelings that I do with the purple shade about this, but it is a little bit better than the purple shade. Can definitely make it work. It's pretty, it's soft, but again, it's average. So I'm gonna put just a little bit in the inner corner and I'm going back into the purple. I'm gonna put it right in the center to wipe away the fallout. I didn't get too much fallout on the other eye, so I think I was a little too heavy handed today. Next, we're going to take the lighter champagne shade right here, and I'm going to put that on the inner corner right underneath the brow bone. So this is where I would have stopped. Like, this is where you should stop if you are creating this look, like an ice cream kind of look. But just to even things out, I did take this dark burgundy shade and use it as an outer corner color. But honestly, if I were to do this again, I'd do a navy instead because this does not really look good as the definer in this look. I don't really know about this shade because I'm not applying that that much of it but I know I don't like mixing it in with the blue because it looks a little dirty <laughs> but the reason that I'm doing it anyways because I already did it on the other eye and I have plans to go to Nordstrom today <laughs> I'm gonna just make them even don't do this if you have this palette gonna add just a little bit more purple but no I mean isn't this look pretty though it's a really great look for spring I'm digging it I really really am <laughs> I also got two of the metallic gel eyeshadows that I'm gonna play with. So I don't even know what this one is called because the sticker on the bottom fell off. But here's the texture. You wanna see it kind of like a jelly much eyeshadow from ColourPop. So this one, let's see how it swatches. What do you think? Kind of sheer, right? Or is it the lighting? No, it is sheer. You don't really see much. There's very soft pink reflex that you can see. I'm gonna put it like just a little bit on the center of the eyelid over the purple. It looks pretty and soft. It does have a little bit more very fine glimmers in it than the powder eyeshadow. So it is adding a little extra oomph to the look. I'm not applying too much. I wanna try these on the eyelids by themselves to really be able to judge. Like this is pretty and it's soft, kind of fairy-like, which I do. I actually like the way that this looks. It's not overly glittery if you don't like that look. And it feels rather light on the eyelid. Do I like these? I don't know. This one looks like old or something. This is touch. I don't know. Let's see how this swatches. Oh, that would be my laundry timer. Again, super duper sheer. It really is like almost a lid topper with just a little bit of glimmer to it. So yeah, I don't think these are meant to give too much pigment off. I'm gonna put it, I don't know. I'm just putting it. It's not supposed to give off too much of a pigmented base. I think it's more so about the glimmer and shine that it gives. I'm not as crazy about this one, but I think it's because I put it over the pink. If I put it over the aqua shade, say the aqua shade was all over the eyelid and then I put this on top, I think it would be a really pretty look. I'm gonna have to try that tomorrow. I will use the matte blue shade all over and then I'll put this over top because I think that would look a lot better because it's contrasting a little bit more over the pink than I would like. I don't know though, I think this might be a quick, reliable, subtle glitter product. It does dry kind of fast. Like I didn't have enough time to blend this one out. But it did add a little something to the look. I'm not mad at that. I thought I was not going to like those, but they dry down and they look pretty. I kind of like that. I do. <laughs> it's not a product that I see myself reaching for a lot, but I kind of like it. Okay, let's move on to the cheeks. I'm excited about these. I got two of the cheek and lip sticks. So we have two shades here. One is Audition, which is lighter, and then Broadway Baby. So here's what the packaging looks like. It looks like a spaceship, right? Okay. So I'm gonna put Audition on my lips first. 
Hey, that has a lot more pigment than I was expecting. And this color is super pretty. If I use like a good lip liner, I think I would like that. I'm gonna put out my sponge first. This is the way that I normally apply cream products, so I'm gonna be fair. And like I said, this one is Audition. So it's kind of rosy. Oh, that's pretty. I don't notice it's breaking up the product underneath. Though this also is a product that I'm not very familiar with that's underneath. Hey, I think I like this. And I normally, with these sticks, only like them for the cheeks. They're usually not good on the lips, but this was good on the, Ariana. I don't know, I feel like I like this launch better than the first launch. The products, I don't know, I just like them. Okay, this is Broadway Baby. This one is a little bit more raspberry. I'm hiding because my camera won't focus, but look at that pigment. That's pigmented. So if you have like a deeper complexion, Broadway Baby, I'm gonna show you what it looks like on my lips. You see, one swipe, you get a lot of color. I'm definitely gonna have to be very light-handed with this as a cheek color. If I'm light-handed, it looks pretty. <gasps> Ooh, I like this. I'm a fan. I prefer for my skin tone the shade Addition, but we'll see how it wears. But if it wears how I think it's gonna wear, I think we're gonna like this. That's a good product. Was not expecting to like that. And then for highlight, I have this Fluid Sheer from Armani Beauty in the shade, or two was the shade. This is not a new product. This is just a product that I had laying out that I've never tried before. So we're gonna try it. Oh, it's very liquidy. Um, I think you're really supposed to mix this in with foundation or put it on underneath, but I wanted to see how it went as a highlight. I was hoping for something really, really subtle and it just broke up the uh, <laughs> blush over top. So we'll just break up the other side. Okay, yeah, no, this is not how the product's meant to be used. Uh, scratch that, we're not We're not gonna have a highlight. <laughs> it did actually add a little bit of a glow though, I'm not gonna lie, but I definitely don't like this as a liquid highlight. I can already tell you, sorry, the sun came out, it's too bright. <laughs> can you see that better now? Mm, not a fan of that. Hard Candy came out with a collection of a lot of eyeliners, lots of different colors. I should get a, a navy, hold on. I lied to you. I told you they had a lot of different colors. I got a few, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see, so these are the Hard Candy Longwear Eyeliner Pencils. They did send these to me in PR. So let's try first Skyish Blue to see how that goes in the waterline. Okay, I don't know, are these pigmented? I don't know. I'm just gonna put that in my waterline. Oh, that did not take many swipes. Oh, okay, good. It's a little hard but it does lay down the color. Sometimes I'm a little skeptical of affordable eyeliner pencils because I feel like they're hard and don't leave any color, but that was actually pretty easy. I wanna see the color Wink Wink. It looks pretty light in the box, so I might not end up using this. I wanted more of the navy, but let me swatch it. So again, this is Wink Wink. Mm, it's not the right blue. I need to put that back. Okay, I'm just gonna use the black shade, but I remember when Hard Candy, was sold at like Nordstrom or something. <laughs> and then the brand went away and then they revived themselves in Walmart. But let's try this. Is it smooth? What do I think? Oh, it's not bad. It's not the smoothest pencil, but it's not the hardest pencil. Oh yeah, okay. I'm just gonna do like a wing like that. And then put it towards the ends. A true baby wing. And then I'm gonna smudge this on my tight lane. And then I am very gingerly going to run this through my eyelashes. See if I can make an almost imperceptible line of definition throughout my lash line. Like you see what all I'm doing? I'm literally just smudging it in the lash line very lightly and I'm taking my finger I'm just rubbing it in and it's giving subtle definition for the lashes that I'm about to do. Okay, great. I mean, that was fine. I don't think those are groundbreaking eyeliners, but for the drugstore, I'm not upset. Esom sent me their new mascara that they just launched. I've used this a few times. I really like this mascara. It doesn't give the most volume, but it does do a good job of separation. It looks really good on my lower lash lines. So give me a moment. I'm gonna apply this. You guys know I love supporting Esom. I love the brand. This is definitely a very thoughtfully put together product. So let me put this on. This is just with one quick coat and you guys know I am not working with very much. So I like this, it's good. The last thing that they sent me from the REM Beauty collection is the Provocateur. 
yes, Provocateur lashes. I didn't really like the lashes in the first collection that they launched. So I don't know that I'm gonna like these or use them. I'm gonna rest them against my eye though to see if I want to use them today. These are quite bigger than the ones I had at first. I just think these are too expensive for what they are and the band is a little thin and it doesn't hold shape, like it's just straight. There, It doesn't look like, I don't know, wispy enough. It's too straight. What do you think? I mean, they're okay, but I have so many better lashes. Like, you're better off just buying Ardell. I'll put them on, though. I will wear them. I've decided that. So let me pop them on, and I will show you how they look. Honestly, you guys, the lashes look better than I thought they would. Don't they look really pretty? I mean, I still stand by my thoughts that you're just as good getting Ardell lashes. But these are kind of pretty. I'm surprised. Okay, now for lips, I put a little bit of the KKW lip liner in nude one. I know you can't get this anymore, but it's just like a basic nude cool lip liner. I'm gonna pop on just a little bit of the Audition lip color, lip and cheek stick. Isn't that pretty? And then I'm gonna top it with a gloss that I've not used yet. This is not new, but Laura Mercier sent this to me. Actually, it might be new since Laura Mercier sent this to me, but this is the bare pink lip glaze. Isn't it so pretty? I've been loving one of the lip glazes that I've been using, so I'm excited about this one. This is a milky pink. It's pretty clear though. You can't see too much color, but I thought it'd be nice to top off. I've never tried this color before, so it is new to me, but I'm familiar with the formula. And here's the makeup look, you guys. Get up close and personal. That one size product is looking really dry on me. It definitely looks worse than the first time that I used it. So the first time that I used it though, I wore it on a really lightweight makeup day. I used only cream products on top, like really quick. It, it was like a five minute makeup day. So I think that's why it looked good. It was paired only with hydrating products, no powders whatsoever, really light makeup. So it looked better than it does today where I'm wearing a bit heavier of makeup. So I'm still on the fence about this base thing. But <laughs> other than that, like I like the finish of the base cream, but there's a lot of flaws to it as well. Okay, let me get my life together and I will give you the final roundup. All right guys, so here's the final look. I actually really, really like it. There's definitely some flaws due to the products when you look up close, but I'm very happy to wear this to Nordstrom. I think it's really pretty and spring-like. So of course, I give you my two cents on this. I don't think I like it. I'm gonna continue playing with it, but it's a little too finicky. The LYX Triple Fix Full Coverage Concealer. This was not a new product I tried today, but it's so beautiful, so hydrating. Oh, the Hard Candy Eyeliners. I think I like these. I can't say because I haven't worn them for very long, so that is how you can really tell with eyeliners, but I'm pretty happy with the creaminess of them. They're not the creamiest, but they're good for the price. But the pigmentation is what has impressed me with these. The Rare Beauty Setting Powder. I've been enjoying this. This is kind of an update. I like it a lot better now that it's, it's my shade. It gives a very subtle glow. It's not an all-time favorite powder, but I do like it. The Armani Fluid Sheer Glow Enhancer. I used it completely wrong today. Do not recommend using it for liquid highlight. It's a little too liquidy for me. I'm gonna play with that. <laughs> it's like a base. The Isam Mascara. I've been enjoying. If you do apply too much of it though, your lashes can look a little spidery and kind of clump together. So just be careful of that. But if you are slow and patient, you'll be able to build it up to get something that you like. So I do like that. I also use the Laura Mercier Lip Glaze in Bare Pink for the first time. Really pretty. It's a nice, soft, comfortable formula not the most long wearing but not sticky at all it doesn't give much color but I think it's very pretty and it's gonna go with a lot of different lip colors if you like nudes now we're finishing up with all the REM beauty stuff so I don't think I'm a fan of the cooling blurring under eye balm before makeup it disrupted the foundation that I had underneath this is the kind of thing that I would put on when I first wake up just to leave something cooling under the eyes and then when I do my makeup I probably wipe it off or hope that it had dried down by then but on the under eyes, it has too much of like a silicone texture or dimethicone. I don't know the difference. One of those, I don't like it before makeup, but it does feel good. The eyeshadow palette that I tried, Go Go Boost, I actually do like this. It's not perfect. It's a middle of the road formulation, but I do love the colors that they chose. Like I got such a pretty spring look. So I'm going to enjoy continuing to play with this because it's such a good palette for spring. The eye gels, I like them. 
but I don't love them. Like the touch shade, I put it down and it dried so quickly that it's like a little splotchy and not evenly applied, but they're pretty. They don't stand out on the makeup market, but I think they're nice. They don't crease. They do their job. They, they're good. They are good. My favorite thing from this launch though, loving these cheek and lipsticks and I think for the whole REM beauty collection I always say they're fine products they just don't stand out these are actually a product that I feel like do stand out on the market because they truly are a lip and cheek formula I feel like with these kind of sticks I never like them on the lips or I like them for one or the other never both this is truly universal in that I liked this applied both on the lips and on the cheeks. So for me, this is one of the better cheek products that I've ever tried. So I do actually recommend these. These are good and stand out in the market and are very competitive. The eyelashes, I think I only own one other pair from Rem Beauty. I like this pair a lot better. This is the prettiest pair that I have from them. Just save yourself some time, some money, go with Ardell, easier to get a hold of. So there we have it, you guys. That was my full face of testing new makeup. It's been a while since I've done this, so I was really excited just to play with some new makeup, give my thoughts, do a little bit of trash talk, all of that good stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you so much for being subscribed to my channel. I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Have a good one.